sensory development and Mayel is here again with us today and we will begin again with our welcome song. Welcome, welcome everyone, now you're here, let's have some fun. First we'll clap our hands just so, clap, 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 then we'll wave our hands and blow. Welcome, welcome everyone, now you're here, let's have some fun. Adieu, Miss Maya. Nice to have with you. <laughs> you know you can call me mommy. We're so glad you came to play at Thrive Babies today. And how is everybody else? Everyone else is hopefully doing really, really well and all the babies are doing really, really well. And I hope you have been enjoying all of the lessons so far. Now, today we are going to do a lesson called Sound It Out. And for Sound It Out, what we're going to do is we're gonna gather all of our materials that I have given you in our package that have different sounds. So you're gonna take, for example, the maracas. You're gonna take the music blower. And you're going to take the space blanket or the other crinkly, noisy item that I have given you. And what you're going to do with these, with your baby, you are going to either shake, blow, or crinkle all of these different objects. And I have chosen all of these different objects because their sounds are quite unique. And they are all different sounds. So when you have your baby right in front of you, what you're going to do is you're going to use these one at a time and see which one he gravitates to. You might notice that the, with the music blower might be too loud and he might not like that. He might be attracted to the maracas, most babies really are, or the crinkling of the space blanket or the crinkle paper that you have. And once your baby is attracted to one of these items, most likely it'll be an item that they will go towards the majority of the time. And again, this is because babies learn and young kids learn best through repetition, repetition, repetition. They will explore, they will use their hands and their fingers to grasp using their pincer grip as we talked about in the last lesson. And they will enhance their thinking skills and all of their different fine motor development when they are using different materials that have these different auditory sounds to them. So what I'm going to do is show you a uh, song. And this song you can use with any of the musical or sound objects that I have given you. But we're going to use our maracas for this one. And I'll teach you this song, and it's a song that also incorporates a lot of language. So when you are singing this song and you're using the language with it, you're also making that connection and those brain synapses are going to get fired and your baby is going to learn and associate the songs with the patterns of movement. All right, so it goes like this. Shake it high, shake it low, round and round is how we go. 
shake it high, shake it low. Can you reach and touch your toe? Shake it high, shake it low. Touch your shaker to your nose. Shake it high, shake it low. Round and round is how we go. And I'll sing it one more time without the shakers so you can hear it without any kind of distracting noise. And you are welcome to get your shakers out. Shake it high, shake it low. Round and round is how we go. Shake it high, shake it low. Can you reach and touch your toes? Shake it high, shake it low. Touch your shaker to your nose. Shake it high, shake it low. Round and round is how we go. And another one that you could do with your music blower and Mayel wants to use it, yeah, is a song called Pizza Pie Hot, Pizza Pie Cold. Mm -hmm. And at the end of each word at, of each sentence, you're gonna blow your sound maker. Like this. Pizza pie hot, pizza pie cold. Pizza pie in the box, nine days old. Some like it hot, some like it cold. Some like it in the box, nine days old. And we'll do it one more time, Mayel. Do you want to blow the whistle, the sound maker? Pizza pie hot, pizza pie cold. Pizza pie in the box, nine days old. Some like it hot, some like it cold. Some like it in the box nine days old. <laughs> and as you can tell, a lot of us have used these before and the whistles can, um, or the sounds I should say, can go as loud as you make it or not so loud if you prefer. Um, your baby will, the reason we do it at the very end of the sentence is because it again it will build anticipation and your baby will wait for it so that's another really fun song that you can do now our thriving gem today is something called parentese i'm going to talk to you a little bit about parentese and i'm just going to model this for you right now with mayel this is how we speak parentese to our baby. So Mayel, I'm going to pretend that you're Malena's age, okay? So you're a little baby. Okay. Hi! How are you, my little darling? Aren't you a cute little thing? Are you mommy's little princess? I love you. So as you can tell, that is something that we don't normally speak to our older children in that sort of tone or with other adults. But we do speak with our babies quite naturally in that manner. So parentees is baby talk. And there's been a lot of research around parentees. And you might come across some people saying, don't talk to your baby like that. Just talk to them as you would a normal adult. But the fact of the matter is, is parentese is actually one of the most beneficial ways for development to occur in our babies. Language development, sensory development, cognitive development. That's because when you're using that high-pitched voice and you're drawing out the vowel sounds and it's kind of like a musical uh, tone that 
that you're using there, you're really exaggerating your facial expressions. And when you are speaking like that, as you could see with Mayel, you are most likely going to be looking at your baby. You're not gonna be uh, doing the dishes and saying, oh, you are sweet little cute little baby. You're gonna have your baby right in front of you. And this is proven to have an impact on the child's development. Not only does it help with learning particular language, but it also encourages motor planning. Now, there was a study done by someone named Patricia Kuhl at the University of Washington. And what she studied was when people use parentese, important language centers are activated in the brain. And non-evasive brain scans were actually used in babies. And it showed that not only do the auditory or listening areas of the brains light up, the motor planning or movement areas of the brain light up as well. So that shows that babies are actually rehearsing the movements to produce speech as early as six or seven months. And there, you can start at any time, even if your baby is one month old, because they will take that in and rehearse it later on. And if you have not been using parentese, it's of course never too late to start. And one other point I wanted to uh, mention was there was another study done in which it measured brain activity in babies. And the way the researchers were using parentese was virtually. It was through um, a screen. Now that is something that is really important to keep in mind. The baby's activity, brain activity was still activated even through the screen, not to suggest that screen time is something that we want to promote in our children, but the tone of language. And of course, during the pandemic, having opportunities to speak to or our extended family or to uh, go through lessons such as this is okay because it is beneficial to our child. Of course, one-to-one -one, um, interactions are the most effective, but brain activity can definitely um, be enhanced through interactions virtually as well when they are used correctly. So that's just something to keep in mind. And keep using parentees. I know that I love using it. Babies definitely love using it. And hopefully you enjoy using it as well. Mayel, do you like to use parentees with, Maya, with Malaya? Mm, kind of, sort of. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so use that baby talk, not baby language, but baby talk in the way that you accentuate your vowels, the high pitched sounds, and the very musical kind of expressions that you use. So have fun with that, and we will sing, sing our goodbye song. song. It's time, time to say goodbye to all our friends. Time to say goodbye, goodbye to all our friends. It's time to say goodbye. Give a smile and wink your eye. It's time to say goodbye to all our friends. And we'll see you again.